the procedure for setting station presets on AM and FM are the same. You choose between AM and FM by pressing the source button on the left hand grip. You basically can scroll through all the different sources this way. This example will show you how to set an FM preset. And today I want to set 106.1 to my number 4 preset station. The first step is to make sure you're in the user preset mode. If you're in the auto preset mode, you may have to hit the enter key on your dashboard to select user. When that lights up, you're ready to set a preset. Now, use the jog dial on your dash to scroll to the channel you want to set as a preset. In my case, 106.1. I want you to pay attention to the two small arrows above and below the channel. You'll notice if you press and hold the enter key for just a couple of seconds, those will be disabled. And so will the labels for auto and user mode. Now you're ready to select the preset number where you want that station to show up in the list of presets. You do this by pressing the jog dial to the left or right to select the number preset you want. Once you've got the preset selected, then you want to press the enter key again and hold until you see those arrows turn white again. Now 106.1 is set to preset number 4. You can use the jog dial to turn left or right to go through the list of presets and when you get to number 4 you see it's 106.1. And as I said earlier, the procedure for setting AM presets is identical. You just need to be in the AM band. To set your XM radio presets, you must first be in the XM radio mode. Do this by pressing the source button on the left hand grip to change the source. You can display your preset list by clicking the enter key on your dash if the bike is stopped, or if you're in motion, press the ENT button on the left hand grip. Here you can see I don't have any channels listed in my preset list. You'll also notice four tabs along the top of this screen. What we're interested in is the channel list. And the only way you can bring up the channel list is by using the four-way button on the left hand grip. You have to press the right key to get it to switch over to the channel list. Now press the ENT button again to bring up all the channels available on Sirius XM. You can use the down arrow key on your left hand grip to scroll through all the available channels. You can select a channel by pressing the ENT button on the left hand grip. Now let's say I want to save this 60s on 6 channel to my preset list. How do I do that? Well, it's not very intuitive. Actually, what you do at this point is press and hold down the home key on your dashboard. You can also use the home button on the left hand control. Now use the down arrow keys on the left hand grip to scroll down to preset and select the ENT button on the left hand grip or the enter key on the dash. Once again you'll see the preset list that we saw earlier. However, this one's a little bit different. It's letting you select which preset slot you want to save that channel into. From here, you can use the arrow keys on the left hand grip to scroll down to the slot where you want your selected channel saved. In my case, it's 60s on 6. Now I'm going to scroll down to the number 3, but you can see I can go to any of these. And I want to save it in number 3 because I have a couple of other channels I want to put in slots 1 and 2. So press the ENT key and that will save that channel to that preset. Now let's check to make sure this channel is now in the preset list. Press the ENT key on the left hand grip to bring up the preset list and you can see that 60s on 6 has been saved to preset number 3. So the next time I want to bring up the channel 60s on 6, I simply hit the ENT key, scroll down to number 3, 
and press ENT and it will bring up that channel. Let's go ahead and set another preset. Using the right arrow key on the left hand grip, go back to channel list, go to all channels, and now I'm going to scroll down to the 70s on 7 because I like 70s music. I'm going to hit ENT and that's going to bring up that channel. I'm going to press and hold the home key on the dash or the home key on the left hand grip and scroll down to preset. Once I do that, I can then select what preset slot I want the 70s channel to go into and I'm going to select number 4. Now if I go back to my preset list by hitting ENT, you can see that I've saved 70s on 7 in slot number 4. Once you've selected your presets, to choose one of those preset stations, you can either hit the enter key on your dash if the motorcycle is stopped, or press the ENT button on the left hand grip to bring up the preset list. Then simply use the left hand grip to scroll down to the station you want to listen to and press the enter or ENT button again. This video is just one of the 65 videos included in our Goldwing maintenance videos for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. Check out these videos at cruisemansgarage.com. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.